if you guys know me personally, you know that I love wagons. Thankfully, Audi has just introduced an all new wagon. I'm at the 2016 North American International Auto Show and this is the brand new 2017 Audi Allroad. Unfortunately for the U.S. market, we tend to not get the best wagons that Europe has to offer, and that's because we don't like wagons. Unfortunately, a lot of Americans have that opinion, but we really need to change that perception. And Audi, thankfully, has been bringing the all-road to the U.S. for the last few years now. And what I'm standing by is basically the all-new generation. Now, the A4 uh, all-road is based on the current generation A4 sedan that'll be hitting dealer showrooms in the next couple of months. Uh, and when it came to the all-road, Audi actually made the vehicle a little bit more crossover-like. It's about 1.3 inches higher uh, versus the A4 sedan. It gives you a little bit more ground clearance. It even comes with an off-road mode for those of you who want to take this uh, back bad boy wagon off road. Now in terms of the design, uh, it certainly has that very conservatively handsome design language that Audis are known for. It's dominated in the front with this corporate single frame grille, updated versions of the company's signature LED accented headlights with full LEDs available on the higher end trims. Now one thing that differentiates again the, a the Audi A4 all road from its regular A4 sedans, if you look around the side you do have a plastic gray cladding that goes around the lower uh, rocker panels and the fenders. It gives the car a more rugged, more SUV like look again because here in the US wagon is a dirty word now underneath the hood of this all new a4 you'll find a, a plethora of new engines for the US market expect the two liter turbocharged direct injection four cylinder that we all know to be the standard offering it'll produce uh, a now updated 252 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque now despite diesel being a dirty word here in the US or in all, all around the world really Audi is promising a TDI version to be back it'll be the same corporate two liter uh, TDI four cylinder diesel producing about 150 horsepower and when it comes to the transmission Audi has actually updated the transmission for the base gasoline 2 liter all of them now come standard with a 7 speed dual clutch automated manual that replaces the 8 speed automatic uh, in the previous generation now overall the proportions of the wagon really haven't really changed uh, it certainly looks very handsome it'll definitely appeal to that niche buyer who loves wagons specifically me but let's take a look at the interior and see some of the changes that Audi has made for this new model so for the inside Audis are pretty well known for having exquisite interiors and this all new all road is certainly no exception you have the latest in terms of Audi's technology Audi's latest design interface the one thing that stands out the most in this cabin is their 12 inch virtual cockpit display in the instrumentation panel it basically replaces those traditional gauges with a full LCD panel and it looks fantastic it definitely gives this car an edge over some of its competitors now another thing that will also stand out compared to the TT which doesn't have the screen in the center stack the a4 and all road gives you a new widescreen uh, LCD display here that does pop in and out. Uh, it's very reminiscent of what you're going to get in the A6. In fact, this whole cabin feels like I'm sitting in uh, the larger A6 versus the uh, smaller uh, A4. Uh, the rest of this interior certainly looks very nice. Compared to, to the current class leader, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class cabin, I definitely think the Audi feels just as classy. It just has a little bit more of an understated, less blingy feel than the Mercedes. And again, there are some buyers that prefer this look as opposed to the flashy Mercedes. The rest of the Audi strength are here the seats are very comfortable there's very nice materials on the dash all soft touch you have real aluminum accents here and there I love the suede Alcantara you'll find on the door panels along with the really nice filling window switches the uh, controller here for the screen is Audi's latest MMI interface here with the handwriting pad it has a cl uh, click wheel here that scrolls it pivots uh, the transmission selector this is the new seven speed dual clutch automated manual replacing the old uh, eight speed automatic it's controlled with this new or the corporate Audi uh, controller or drive selector system here which kind of feels like a joystick very similar a combination to what like a BMW will give you with their joystick controller and overall uh, I really like the cabin of this new all-road uh, this panoramic sunroof on uh, that's available on some models definitely adds a lot more light into the cabin and compared with the sedan the all-road gives you that wagon versatility out back you get 17.8 cubic feet of space with the second row up fold them down you're gonna get 53 cubic feet of space so you can't get that with a sedan. And it's one of the reasons why you should definitely add a wagon to your list if you guys are looking for the ultimate in terms of a family-friendly vehicle. You can expect the all-new All-Road to go on sale in the second quarter of 2016 uh, with no pricing yet announced, but it would probably uh, stay close to what the current model goes for, which is the mid-40s up into the low $50,000 range. For Redline Reviews at the 2016 North American International Auto Show, I'm Sophie Bay.